Hey folks, so the flat earth, it's it's really a thing now. Uh, flat earthers, they're popping out of the woodwork everywhere and well, my take on it was that of course it's pretty fucking ridiculous. It, it doesn't really take much skepticism to, well, dismiss the idea of a flat earth. However, however, a couple of days ago I saw uh, that uh, the, the mental giant Max Trivium, he posted something on G+. It was about somebody who had posted a cartoon. And it turned out that said cartoon was created by uh, somebody from Stormfront, uh, basically a neo-Nazi. And he, well, he made a very scolding post about that person because basically saying that, well, he clearly was the skeptic because if you post something made by a neo-Nazi and if you agree with them on one thing, then ba automatically that makes you a neo-Nazi too. Or at least uh, you don't have any skepticism toward it. Well, I kind of disagreed and I said, well, I mean, if you agree with them on one thing doesn't mean you agree with the entire ideology. I mean, you judge facts on their own merit. Well, I got schooled, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Professor Max Rivium, he made sure to, uh, well, explain uh, in grave detail that, well, it's not about the facts, it's, it's all about the source. You judge the source, and whatever, if you agree with, with the source, then everything the source, what comes from said source, is true. And then there was, well, he got uh, assistance from the, the great J.D. Kane. He also jumped in and, well, basically said if you agree with, with a racist on one thing, that means automatically that you're a racist too. So that is skepticism, ladies and gentlemen. You don't judge the facts. On their own merits, you generally judge the source, and then everything that ensues, well, is a reflection of the source, and that makes it true or untrue, and that is the new definition of skepticism. So, yeah, I want to be a skeptic, so uh, I have to, uh, well, accept that, especially if it has this knowledge has been bestowed onto me by such great minds as the Max Trivium and the J. D. Kane, but. Funny enough, funny enough, this has some implications, because Hitler, he was not a flat earther. Hitler accepted the round earth. Therefore, being a skeptic, I must now accept that the earth is flat, because otherwise I would be a Nazi. And yet I don't want to be a Nazi, and I do want to be a skeptic. Therefore, the only conclusion is the earth is flat. That is no fact. And also, interestingly enough, Mr. J.D. Kane, who has schooled me so on this, on this new skepticism concept, well, he's been going out of his way to rile against people who accept the flat earth. He is clearly a round earther, just like Hitler. Therefore, he agrees with Hitler on the round earth. That means that it is irrefutably a fact now that J.D. Kane is a Nazi. Just so you know, folks, anything that J.D. Kane says, if you agree with him on anything, that makes you a Nazi too. Well, and a raging Christianophobe, because, well, we all know that he is a raging fucking Christianophobe. He hates them with a passion because he disagrees with the ide ideology. Well, there you go. So, uh, yeah. Seek Heil, motherfucker. Everybody, have a great day.